Alright, what's good about you with Bar Tom Stu and today we're back here on GTA 5 with another speed glitch video for you guys. And this this speed glitch is actually pretty special to me and the reason for that being is that it's actually the very first speed glitch I ever posted on the channel. And it was the video that really woke me up and made me realize, hey, maybe I could actually do something with this whole YouTube thing. So I posted it about two years ago and it got 2,000 views and it was the very first video I ever had to reach 1,000. 1,000 views, I mean, and that's that was so crazy to me back then, so it kind of woke me up, and I was like, hey, you know, maybe if I keep doing this, maybe I'll maybe I'll be something someday, and that's, again, kind of the reason I'm posting it today, because this is kind of like an early 4,000 subscriber commemoration, or like a 4,000 subscriber special, and it's crazy to see just how far I've came. Like, looking back on that video, like, it, my editing was really embarrassing, my mic was awful. I'll link the video in the description if you guys really want to see it, but it's super embarrassing, but also humbling to see how far I've came. But now that we got that all that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into this glitch, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you will need. So, first and foremost, you're going to need the Comet Retro Custom. Obviously, if you guys don't know how to get that, you just got to go to Legendary Motorsports, buy the original Comet, not the SR, the original. And then you're going to take it to Benny's, and you're going to upgrade it to the Comet Retro Custom, which is going to cost you about 700000 I think, maybe. I think I couldn't remember if it was 600000 or 800000 so we're going to go in the middle. And then as far as parts go, uh, I would not put bulletproof tires on the car just because I'm a glitcher. I hate them, and it won't really work for this glitch necessarily. You don't have to pop the tires for this glitch, but I wouldn't really trust it anyways. Uh, as far as everything else is going to go, you're going to definitely want 0% armor or maybe 20%, but it'll be much easier to do the glitch with 0%. And then you're going to want your engine, transmission, and turbo maxed out if you can, because that's going to give you the best results for speed. Now, as we always do on the channel, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. We're going to drive it before glitching it first, and then we're going to glitch it and see the difference, obviously. So, this car by itself before glitching is actually really not that bad. It's got decent handling. It's a decent speedy car it the acceleration is pretty quick but the top speed end of it is actually really bad it's it's only gonna hit maybe 114 on this strip and now after glitching it i will say that the car does hit 200 miles per hour but it's only going to show up on the speedometer as 168 just because you guys know how the gta speedometers are like they're completely inaccurate and they never really display the actual speed that you're going. So if you're going 120, you can probably safely assume that you're probably going about 160. Uh, there's not really any kind of like conversion theory for it. It's just that, especially with the glitches and stuff like that, it does not show the real speed in the car. But if you guys do find like a longer track, like a stunt track or something like that that you've made yourself, the car will hit 200 on the speedometer. So there's that. But let's get right into doing this glitch and it's very, very, very simple. All you guys got to do is you're going to go to both of the back tires and kick them about uh, four or five times. I always like to kick them about seven or eight just for just for good measure. But honestly, you could kick this probably 400 times on each side and it wouldn't do anything because this is a rear engine car. So the hit points are different and it's not going to make the car explode. Like it takes a lot for this car to explode. So just kick it right in the center. It's one, two, three. Missed that one. <laughs> four. You heard it click once. Five, six. Come on, Lester, quit calling me, buddy. I hate these Lester calls. I wish I could turn them off. Seven. All right, we're going to go to this side a little bit, be able to kick it. There we go. Eight, nine, ten. We'll get it just a little bit more. I want it, I want that tire to show just a little bit more. There we go. The car dropped again right there. So you're going to want it to kind of drop twice. But of course, I go for just a little bit more sometimes, just in case. Sometimes I get a little out of hand. Sorry, but <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Basically, you're just wanting the car, like the car, to drop twice. It's, it's pretty much like you're stancing it, but instead you're really just kicking the life out of the car. Can't bring it out a little bit. And what this is basically doing is you heard it pop again right there. Uh, you're basically glitching the tire through the rear fenders. And in doing that, it's going to cause some kind of weird mechanic in the game to give you a little speed boost when you redline after the very last gear. So it's it's a little weird. We just shattered everything. But another cool feature about this car is because it's so low now, if you, if you just walk up to the roof and then press square or X if you're on Xbox, you'll slide right over it. So 
there's that and now I'm gonna show you guys just how fast this is with the glitch and it's also kind of insane now I don't know if it's faster than the Comet SR speed glitch or the LG retro custom speed glitch but it is insanely fast it used to be one of my fastest cars and you're gonna see that right here as soon as the tires start shaking you you definitely gonna notice that you got the glitch done correctly look at how fast we're already going boom we're already way above what we were and we're still going we're still going we got about 140 right here it's just gonna stick at about 140 but if you look outside of the car and I'll show you guys just a second you're still going fast like you're not it doesn't seem like the car's bottoming out at 140 it seems like you're honestly still going fast and you're picking up speed so that's why I tend to say that the speedometers in GTA are completely inaccurate because they are because look we're still picking up speed even though it's gonna say right now that I'm still at about 140 yeah see and then we're going to 150 eventually we'd hit 160 and then go up to 200 you just need about oh my gosh a, lo a longer of a course but yeah that's that's basically the gist of the glitch I mean honestly if I was to get out and kick the tires a couple more times we could probably get it up to 160 because this one's showing all the way through but the other one's not really yet and then I'll kind of I'll show you guys how weird the handling is with this thing too it it drifts really well but it's also just really weird see like the car is just glitched into the ground a little bit too because I cannot even really kick it like the kick animations I'm getting are going through the tire which is weird but it's it's a super fun glitch you'll definitely beat every supercar in the game it doesn't matter now if you face like another glitch car that's way faster than this you are gonna get stomped but let's be real every, any car you face that's not glitched you're gonna beat honestly you could beat jets in this thing it's insanely fast and that's why I say it goes 200 miles an hour because it can beat a jet so I mean yeah and we're kind of steering a little bit <laughs> and like to the left I think and that's mostly just because uh, I wrapped around that that box back there but I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick just how weird the handling is before I do end the video here because it's it's really slippery so we're just gonna barely turn to the left and it's gonna already start just like being weird but it's easy to manipulate all I gotta do is just break a little bit and then just kind of you're just gonna want to kind of just flick the <laughs> flick the steering wheel a little bit back and forth, but sometimes it will spin out. But it's all in all, it's still a it's still a pretty usable method, especially if you're trying to get you know from one end of the map to the other. If you're running guns, uh, if you don't need to go to your bunker, your facility, uh, whatever else you need to do, it's 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 pretty it's a pretty practical use. Like it's a pretty useful glitch. And I mean, like I said, you will spin out a couple times, but it's not nearly as bad as having the front two tires popped and not being able to turn. Because you can still turn, it's just you're sliding when you're turning, instead of just spinning out every single time. So it's not terrible, but with that, I mean, that's basically the gist of everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please let me know uh, any any kind of videos you guys want to see in the near future. I just really want to make this video today, just uh, kind of reflect back on my channel as a whole after two years, which is... You know kind of crazy but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and i cannot wait until we hit 4,000 subscribers i will have a special video coming out so if you guys want to add me on psn at bar times two you see it up there at the top left and join my crew bar times two youtube uh, capital b capital x capital y capital t and we'll be doing a special live stream that day i'll probably be trying to talk to some subscribers if you guys want to join in we're gonna have a little car meet and have some fun you know so uh definitely add me send me a message saying that you are a subscriber just so that i know because i tend to not really add that many people back on psn just because i already have pretty crazy amount of friends on here so with that thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each one of you as i already said but thank you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in the next one it's been your boy bar times two peace out Thank you.